Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Master Nightfall, which is War to Nothing. I'm going to be doing it on the Titan since I feel like I haven't played on the Titan in quite a while. I'm going to be doing, using Arc Titan. If you're looking for a full guide, a full setup, what exactly what I'm using, all the mods and all that, as per, it will be at the end of the video. Sufficient, suffice to say, I'm going to be using the 7th Seraph Carbine. My one has target lock and re reconstruction, and that will be my overload. I'm using Under Your Skin, which will be my anti-barrier, which is a void bow, and I'll be using Galahorn. I'll be coupling those with supercharged, stacks on stacks, Argent Ordnance, and counter charge. They will allow me to get pretty easily get charged the light builds and I'll build those up so that I can use Argent Ordnance at the boss. I'm also using Low Entropy Superconductor which basically it arc melees stop uh, unstoppables. So my arc melee is my unstoppable weapon. That's kind of the weapon itself. You're looking for the rest of the mods and all that as I say there at the end of the video. Now there isn't really not really an accepted strategy for this. The strategy really comes from, or, or the strategy is really needed at the plate section. Up until the plate section, I feel anyway, it's the way I've always looked at this Nightfall, that you're playing the champions. You know, the way you approach each section depends on the champions, which ones they are and where, you know, where they actually are. The rest, the rest of it, you just kill and move forward. That Because I've got a bow, uh, it does allow me to play a little bit more, you know, do a bit more ranged, but as you can see here with the auto rifle, the auto rifle is not, isn't a slouch, I mean, it, it, with that target lock, which basically keep it on a target for an extended period of time, and uh, it increases its damage, it actually does really, really well. I could have went, I don't think, I don't feel like I needed them. But because it's a, a seventh seraph weapon, it will produce one main cells if you've got uh, the mod on, which escapes my uh, global reach. If you've got global reach on, which is I think three energy, uh, it will produce one main cells. But I, I didn't. I don't feel like I needed them. So this is for first. Uh, this is for first unstoppable. It's going to take while I'm waiting for this hydra to turn round. There we go. Turn round now. Rock it on. What you'll see here is because I've so that we've got my first un unstoppable. I'm just going to charge up my my shoulder charge. I'm just going to hold it against here, let them come down a little bit, and you'll see here, bomb! I get two charge for lights. That's because I've got stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks gives me two charge of light every time I stop a champion because of the count counter charge gives me charge for light every time I stop a champion. Stacks on stacks increases that to two charges of light. Now, when you get something like a barrier, you can actually farm Charger Light because you'll just keep getting them. Uh, I think the most I can get is four. I could have put stuff on to get to have an extra stack, but I didn't feel like I would need it. And Galahorn, because it's, it's solar burn, so we're doing 25% extra solar damage, uh, but we're taking 50% more, which is why, as I said, uh, I'm playing a little bit, I wouldn't say conservatively, tactically. There we go. Uh, I've got uh, the, the the Heart of Innermost Light on, so every time I use an ability, if I use another one, it increases the, if I, if I use an ability, it increases the effectiveness of one of my, my other abilities, but it increases the charge rate, the recharge rate, should I say. So I put that down over there, to help me get my shoulder charge back for this this uh, this uh, unstoppable. So here he comes, bang, and I'll put a rock on him. That should finish him off. Now Galahorn was, I'm, I kind of I don't really like seeing nerfed. It was adjusted, and uh, so so the blast of the original rocket that 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 it, it doesn't do as much now. But you'll see how much Wolfpack actually buys in, you know, it, Wolfpack is still really strong. It's still the most powerful rocket launcher, I think, in the game. And when you get stuff, aggressive frames, adaptive frame rocket launchers, and you've got someone using Galahorn, it, it still will make those rocket launchers even better than they were before because it will grant them all Wolfpack. 
So this is kind of our first real test. You, in, in this area, you've got uh, two, you've got Hydra, and you've got two barriers, and then you're going to have a mini boss, a, a, a Minotaur, a very, very large Minotaur. So what I tried to do here, I wanted to save my rockets. As soon as you come up these stairs, your two barriers will come. Now with the barriers, you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm not putting a rocket on them to start with because if I break their shield and then put a rocket if I use the boat to break the shield then I'm only going to have to use one rocket I'm going to get annoyed with that Hydra I, I wanted my grenade to take out the Hydra it didn't work uh, so we'll do the same thing again just explode that barrel up there that'll get the champion into his uh, shielded state quicker be careful with the trains, obviously, as well, because, you know, the trains will kill you <laughs> if you try and jump past when the train's coming. So I'm just going up here real quick. Just to grab this rocket, because I'm probably going to need it for the boss, the, the Minotaur. So I've got three charger lights. We'll, we'll be saving them for the boss. Now, to get the boss to come out, what we're going to have to do is clear the majority of these ads. Now, what I've noticed is if you can clear the goblins... And then do a bit of work on a minotaur, one of those minotaurs. That will, but you don't even have to touch really the minotaurs. But if you can clear the, the you see we've got the quantum goblin. You've got they're the yellow bar goblins. If you could, if you can take out all the reds, and and make sure there's none of them hiding. And as you can see, one of the modifiers is that some ads are shielded, and that is the goblins. Uh, we're going to take out them, and then, uh, and then, that should bring. There's one there. That should bring the Minotaur out. Just take out this smaller Minotaur, Important and there we go. Target Important gone. target. So we'll just put a couple on him here because he will. He'll come. He'll take a bit of damage, and then he'll go away normally goes up to the back so we're just gonna let let the train go we've got bricks are heavy so i'm not too bothered although this i think i think one of these rockets went through his legs which is uh there we go a pack toss i've never actually known his name a pack toss why what is it with bungee do they just like take scrabble pieces and just throw them on the on the ground and go that's the name of the next boss Yubloli or whatever anyway <laughs> I just find it funny some of the names there we go that's that's that minotaur done so now we're going to head up here and this is this is where your heart of innermost light is going to earn its money is because you've got two unstoppables quite close to each other so what we're going to do is going to clear a path try and clear all the trash ads in between us and the the last unstoppable so that we can we can go we can engage the first one get them to come down here a little bit get them away from the second overload uh, unstoppable so that we're not getting them coming straight away we need to give ourselves a chance for our melee to come back so again you see there it's it's just it seems like it's most of the ads most of the the trash mobs all the cabal seem to be shielded well uh, invisible and the goblins so two, there's always two up top and then there's two there'll be a yellow bar off to our left and then there'll be two snipers up on uh, at different points up on bridges so we can see there's an unstoppable at the back I'm trying to look for the snipers here uh because it's solar damage they do solar so we never got a chance to look at them there but that's that's not too bad so bang we jump away and we'll put a rock on him. Now, I think the second unstoppable took me by surprise. Not the unstoppable himself. I think. I think after I stop him, I think his backpack exploded, and I actually thought I was going to die. So just be careful of that. The uh, hundred percent, the solar, the solar resist. They they helped. So you can see, I put down another barricade. See how fast my my. Uh, how fast my melee's coming back. So there's the other unstoppable. There's one sniper. 
the other sniper now I'm just gonna charge bang and then I'm going to... that's what what happened I used my super and then I finished got the finisher on him and the backpack exploded so be careful don't don't if they're, if they're taking damage don't finish them I didn't think that would actually do any damage. I thought you know I'd be fine with the finish I, f I figured because I'm not I'm, I'm not using my super for much in, in this you don't really need to I'm keeping it for the for the boss just as extra damage but uh, I just use my ult to finish him off five here I actually miss an ad behind me he starts shooting at me his mistake uh, so this this next section this is where really the strategy if you like comes in because you've got to capture plates there are uh, when you get here there are five champions five champions in the center and uh, they are you see I've put a grenade on the two on the two barriers as soon as I break their shields as soon as I break their shields I'll put a, a rocket on both of them and it will kill both of them so there's there's the overload so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my my uh, auto rifle to stop and then I'm gonna hit him with a rocket I'm hoping to get because there's a there's a whole bunch of enemies here I'm hoping to get uh, a decent amount of of uh, heavy here so I thought he was gonna come that way he didn't he came this way so I stopped him and then I'll put another rocket now what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna see I'm gonna toss a grenade put my barricade up which stops those two grenades from hurting me and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take if I can even hit anything I'm going to take this barrier down just I'm not going to use another rocket so I'll switch here to my, my bow and again just finish him with the auto rifle which does really good damage still another enemy up and there we go so here's the plan here all right the gift is behind us, it's a scorch cannon. You have about a minute to capture the middle plate. Don't go on to the middle plate. Because you don't want the other plates to spawn in. Right? See, I accidentally went on there, but I've come off. Don't capture it. Right? So we'll just break his shield, get out of the line of fire. I've got, I've got, you see there, I've got a brick. And break his shield does so we had five when we came in here now in this section we've got an all three we've got a barrier an overload and an unstoppable all come in right so that's that's the barrier and that's the unstoppable now in this run normally i wouldn't bother with the overload because you don't need to kill the overload here to get platinum but I never had a choice this time, and you'll see, actually, because of the weapons I was using, it actually didn't really affect me too much. So you see there, seven, six, get on before it gets to the end. Now, I'm not going to bother with that Minotaur. It's it's the goblins I want to take down. I don't want any ads really waiting for me when I get there, because that's going to be the side I'm going to go to first. Now, when I get here, I'm just going to clear these ads. You see, every everyone needs... Uh, Every one of these uh, mines has got a time. Now, for some reason, the overload was like, oh yeah, there's somebody there. Normally he doesn't come to me, but he did. So you can see me looking. Here he is. And the auto rifle stops him really quickly. So I'm just going to back out the way of my rocket, which kills him no problem. And I've still got three charges of light. And now, as you can see, I've got 25 seconds to make it over to... The next section, I'll throw a grenade, pick up that heavy, now I'm back to full heavy. And that's that's how you take the plates. Leave the middle plate, the first plate, take out the two champions, and then if you've got time, clear one of the other plates. Get on before the timer runs down, and then just go and ca capture the other ones. You see there's another brick of heavy for me. So, I've got three charges of light, which is, which is cool. Three charges of light. We're going to take this boss down pretty quickly. I'm not bothered because 
when you when you get charged bullet because we've got you argent ordnance on we only expel a charger light when we use a rocket so just using normal weapons won't do anything until a charge is a light three rockets that's all we need that's where three charges of light gone right now i thought i had a brick of heavy there i don't know why it went now i've got to kind of go and hunt for another brick because i know there was more than one explosions blow the bricks a heavy away i think there was one over on the other plate so i'm gonna go and check the other you plate survived the prison uh yeah so uh, uh, uh explosions and, and and real you know and in the environment can blow your ammo boxes away so hopefully this gives us which it did no this well can happen to you might happen to you now there was a f allegedly a way to stop this this uh, bug from happening which was to land on every platform I believe I land on every platform and it still happened. I went down in the lift and there were no champions. If there's no champions, maybe, oh, maybe I missed that one. And that one. If you land on every platform going down, allegedly it doesn't happen, which is you go in here. I, I was kind of waiting for the audio to stop. And you go in here, you go down. There's no champions. The boss will spawn. You can kill the boss. But... The nightfall hasn't ended. So, you land on all the platforms coming down. If it still happens, you have to wipe. It's no bother. You'll know it when you're going down if the bug has happened because you won't get an icon, the little dot, the square icon, letting you know that your next objective is down here. So, we haven't had it. I know straight away the bug has happened. See there, there's nothing going on. I have to wipe. There's nothing I can do. So, wiping isn't really a big problem, because wiping just puts you back at the top of the lift, except now, you're definitely going to get your champions. Now, your champions at the boss are going to be two barriers, an overload, and an unstoppable. So, because of the way that we're taking unstoppables down, and the fact that we want to farm uh, charges of light, it makes sense to take the barriers first. Because every time you stun a barrier, every time you break a barrier shield, you get two charges of light. So we really, really only have to stun. Uh, we can use a couple of charges of light because we're going to be, you know, taking down the unstoppable at the end. So you see there are four champions. You've got a Vex barrier. You've got a Cabal barrier. You've got uh, a Vex overload and a Cabal unstoppable. No. Just gonna throw my grenade here, try and land on that barrier. See that barrier? He won't like it, he'll put his shield up. The grenade will keep doing his business. We've got two charges of light there. If we break his shield again, we'll get another two. And there we've got max charge with light. And that's one barrier gone. Now, this is a rule of thumb, and a lot of people don't adhere to this rule of thumb. I'm putting another barricade up to get my grenade back, because I want to throw my grenade and try and get it close to the cabal champion if you take down a vex enemy first which we have try and then take down a cabal enemy and the reason for doing that is if you take down two the two vex then the two cabal will just focus on you so you always want to leave an opposing enemy up so that the the, the champion that's left has an enemy in that arena that it can deal with. You see there, I'm just getting it. That auto rifle's really good. And it's that perk target lock. This, the, you get the 7th Surf Carbine from the new dungeon. So we just, again, not really want to use any more rockets. You see there, I just get the reload and then we're going to put target lock back on him. You see, see how the damage? There he stopped and the auto rifle. And the, uh, the unstoppable was helping us there. But as you can see, the overload done good damage to the unstoppable so the unstoppable actually we're going to play with the unstoppable a little bit here so i don't want to use a rocket so i'm just going to use the auto rifle get them down get them down and then i'm going to use this pillar I'm just going to play with him around this pillar whichever side he goes to see i'm just going to move as long as the pillar's in between me and him he he can't do anything to me and i'm just waiting for my barricade to come back up so i can get 
my melee back. And when I use my melee, it will give me... So I've got my melee here. There he is. You'll see my barricade, the charge from my barricade going right up. There we go. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position myself in the centre, just back from the centre. And now we're just going to grenade, rocket, rocket. And I actually miss a rocket here, but only because he teleports. So there's four rockets. Then he teleported, so I'll put one over here. And then I'm going to get behind this pillar here. Right? So I'm going to go just inside here. That's why I positioned myself where I did. Put my barricade up. Any ads that come over, which there won't be. You know, they're, they're not. this first wave, they're not going to charge me. I'm just going to put my last rocket and then thunder crash. End of the run. And that is it, guys. That is how to complete. That is my guide for how to complete the Warden of Nothing solo on the Titan. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope uh, this helps you get some cool stuff from the Nightfall. Take it easy, guys. The next video I'm going to be releasing will be my dungeon guide. So I hope you guys watch that and I hope you look forward to it. If you do, leave a like. Same as this. Leave a like and leave me a comment telling me what you liked about it, if anything at all. Take it easy, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.